couldn't go in April, we uh, went ahead with this fight with all these guys. These guys deserve to be seen. They deserve to keep busy. They're terrific, terrific fighters. And what do you expect from your fighters through the remains coming off somewhat of a hand injury? I think he's going to be terrific. I think he's going to be a big superstar. And uh, any big fights in the future for him, Bob? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, we're going to fight again in July, and then if things break right, uh, we'll put him with Golovkin uh, in uh, the fall. And how much of a possibility is that fight? Have you guys well, I've talked to Tom Loeffler. Tom, Tom has called me. Obviously, their first preference is to fight Canelo, but I don't know if that happens. And do you think that'll happen? The people kind of demanding the winner of Canelo and Chavez Jr. take on Gennady Golovkin. Do you well, think people can demand all they want. It's not going to. If Canelo wins, uh, Oscar is not going to risk his cash cow against Golovkin. Why do you think that is? That, that, that why do you think that is? Because what do you think? What do you think that is? It's his cash cow. He's not going to get his cash cow beat. If, if if Canelo did fight Golovkin and he looked decent in the fight, but he still lost, do you I think, think he gained more respect than I, I agree with you. But that's not the way a lot of boxing promoters think. You got uh, Oscar you know, up there uh, made a statement, uh, Valdez made a statement, him, Jesse, and Zumba are the new face of Mexican boxing. Uh, obviously, you got guys like Canelo, but uh, Oscar's a hot young guy. Do you think that there's a lot of truth to well, that? Well, Canelo is pretty well established and he's a big attraction and these guys are not that well established but I think they'll be even bigger attractions. Mariaga, he's a, he's a, a fighter fight. a lot of guys sleep on. What? He's a fighter that a lot of people sleep on because he doesn't have a lot of No, money. he's a very good fighter. Bob, and as a card for Manny, what's, what is the future away from Manny? Well, Michael is flying over, he met with me, Michael Kahn's and talking to Manny and We'll get it all solved hopefully this week. Shakur Stevenson. Great. A lot of people didn't expect for you to sign him. I know. Top I know. What, but what kind of signing? James Prince, a good friend of ours. Prince knows what we can do with a young prospect, and I think the sky's the limit for Stevenson. Walks around, kids feel well composed. Was that something you noticed? Yeah. Yeah. Great kid.